Uh, yeah, Geeter. So Kuz this year, it's been a really interesting season for him. Remember, before the season started, he was on Team USA, missed all of training camp after he hurt it. And Brez, I know you've been waiting for this. <laughs> Dion Waiters, hoisting <laughs> and feasting. So just in the practice weeks, Kuz says he's fully healthy. There's some upside there that remains for Kuz here uh, as he tries to find a rhythm. We'll see how he looks in these scrimmages, Geeter. Yeah, Mike, I think so, you know, you have no Rondo in the second unit to, to run the plays and, and do that sort of thing in terms of secondary ball handling. You'll see some of that from Kuz and AD also. NBA campus in Orlando. Mavericks started six of seven. Since then, they've gone one for seven. Lakers closed the first on a 15. Two short years ago, he averaged 14 points and four assists. Play, and he sure did at the end of that first quarter right there. And Ali, I guess a question coming into Orlando without Avery Bradley, there's some minutes to go around as to see Quinn Cook get fouled. Whatever they need, they're very versatile. James, how much does it matter that Dion signed with the team back in March, didn't play for the Lakers, but sat on the bench for a couple of games? Uh, Mike Trudell is going to join us right now with a KCP update. What do you got, Mike? Yeah, Geeter, so he rolled his ankle, uh, but the report is that he's okay. He's kind of got to know the terminology and, and that sort of thing, as opposed to J.R. Smith, who was just picked up a couple weeks ago. Does that give Dion that much? Look at Dwight Howard in the game. Dwight making that late decision to join the Lakers in Orlando. Nice closeout, but by way. Kristaps Porzingis now with eight points. Porzingis looks great. Yeah, just blistering are the Mavericks, Geeter, and that's going to be a tricky matchup uh, for whoever they end up seeing in the first round. You know, right now, they are the seventh seed, so they do have a chance to move up a couple of spots depending on how things shake out uh, to secure that. So, so you have to think they feel pretty good about the lead they've built at this point. In big game, I want to bring you in. One of the reasons why, one of the big reasons why Dallas is back in the playoffs is the NBA. So good, so crafty, light years ahead of most people at this time. Yeah, yeah, Luka is to Dallas what, you know. But Luka, already a star. And now teamed up with Porzingis as he comes down and hammers one. Shows the other day that Luka Doncic might be the league's most improved player. There are some pretty good candidates out there. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Bam Adebayo. But I really think that Luka... Ding on the show, I was voting for Brandon Ingram, but you definitely made a case for Luka. And there's a number of players who just continue to improve. That's the beauty of the NBA. Is There's that pick and roll. Doncic the crossover. Kicks it out. Hardaway Jr. short. And that the Lakers are going to have to think about more as they get into the postseason, whether that's against Dallas or uh, some of the other opponents that can go small in that sense by having a, a big out on the perimeter. Open threes to the pick and pop shooters. But again, that, that is something that's on Frank Vogel's radar for when they play teams like. Yep. Justin Jackson. Always like to give a little Tar Heel love for big game. Yeah, got a couple of Tar Heels out there, you know. Jackson, you know, has not yet found his way in the league. Uh, up in Sacramento uh, before uh, over to Dallas. I Catch the lob. Hardaway Jr. into the corner. Jackson steps on the line, turnover. Extended. That's been good defense. Uh, throughout the NBA and I think that would you know uh, challenge some of these scores who a lot of them like Hart, uh, are into five so I'd like to see the game get back a little bit to, to where you could you know tag them a little bit LeBron James to the hoop finishes with the left it's 42 34 Lakers I just saw some cheerleaders uh, on the side what was that all about was that in the video board? More minutes together, and I'll tell you what, that's going to happen now, right? I, specifically with Rondo and Bradley out, he is the guy that you think of as a screen. But if you watch every Laker game, you just notice that they tend to play better when he's on the floor. And that's why, even though uh, Frank Vogel has a lot of options, you've seen Caruso close. Doncic, screen from Boban. LeBron doing a nice job. Mm. Oh, nice give and go, but it's intercepted. Lakers doing a nice job of getting their hands in the passing lane. 24, and you're right, guys. LeBron James is dialed in, and so are the Lakers. 48-36. Jackson gets knocked away. Boban is there, and Boban. Kuz, Danny Green, KCP, AD, and LeBron. Backdoor cut. It was his first year with LeBron. That eye contact, that ability for LeBron to just see anyone at any time. Jackson, up and in. A lot of weapons, Geeter. Uh, and I think LeBron is smart enough to know that if he can create 
more weapons. There's the big weapon right there. Waiters, JR, you know, Pope, anybody that can facilitate and, and, and make something happen. LeBron's going to be looking for that type of versatility.